Okay, I hope you can hear it over the noise of all these fans. But uh, here is my DPS 2000 BB IBM power supply, and it's connected to a variety of chargers. A couple of smaller eye chargers with A123 packs, 3010B with four packs in parallel, and the 406 Duo with a 26 amp and a 20 amp. Uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. So at the moment this one is charging with uh, 30 amps and as you can hear there's no hissing sound in the power supply and the voltage is stable. Now I will start another charge with uh, as many amps as I can get. So you can probably see it in the video, so you take my word for it. Here's the current value that the charger draws. And as it ramps up now, here now you can hear it. The voltage goes down and there's a kind of hissing noise. somewhere in there and the voltage has gone down but it's fairly stable so now I will start another 10 amp charge let's see what the voltage does here ramps up it fluctuates up and down pretty much and you can also hear this hissing sound fluctuating <coughs> and now we are at about this one says 55 this one will be a bit more than 10 so we are between 60 and 70 amps where you have this hissing sound and the fluctuating voltage and now I will start another 10 amp charge and look what happens now okay you see now the other 10 amp charge has fully ramped up and we are back at a stable voltage and the power supply is completely silent only the fans attached to it are not but you can't hear a hissing sound and you can't see the pulsing voltage now I will start another 20 amp charge and another 30 amp charge both are ramping up right now and you see the voltage is still pretty stable so now we have additional fans speeding up it's getting a little loud in here but there's no hissing sound from the power supply okay all chargers are now working at the maximum power they can get with 14.6 volt input and this would be a total of 120 to 130 amps right now and it doesn't even get lukewarm here so it can certainly deliver the power just in the range of 60 to 70 amps it's got the instability and some hissing noise so that's what my assembly looks in total